was my special child. When I was told I couldn't have no more kids, I had him. So that's why I call him my special baby. He was so full of energy and, and, and he loved dressing in costumes. He'll come out wearing a Batman, you know, mask and Superman cape. The deceased is dressed in a one-piece Batman pajama suit and a pair of black underpants. I feel like my baby just was pushing everything in in that little brain of his, his little, a seven-year-old, dealing with calling a nigger, snag it to, you're ugly, you dress funny. He did not want us to go up there and embarrass him because he didn't want to get nobody in trouble. So he didn't say nothing. He was just dealing with it and praying for them. Young male child measuring approximately 46 inches tall and appearing the stated age of seven years. Everybody's a woulda, coulda, shoulda until it happens to you. Woulda, shoulda, coulda. Wish I woulda, shoulda, coulda had my son. I would do anything to have my son back, but Lord knows it's not gonna happen. Black kids are dying by suicide at rates two times higher than their white peers. And as we started digging into the numbers, we found research and experts were backing up the facts that the numbers that are actually out there aren't even close to the reality of the situation. We started looking into what happened to Jeffrey Taylor after seeing a local report out of San Antonio, Texas. Family prayer? Yeah. Okay, well let us pray. Who's first? Me. My gun was kept in my Bible case. And at that, that particular day, it was pushed up under my bed. I don't know if he may have just slipped up, you know, when you're in your parents' room and you see, you see something you're not supposed to see. I went straight to the room. I saw my baby. <laughs> laying there like he normally is. But when I looked to the left and I saw blood, dry blood on my baby's face, and I just screamed. I just screamed. I yelled and I said, hold it, Jeffrey Moore. My baby was hard as a rock. He was hard as a rock. I tried him. I put him back. And all I could do is run. I was screaming. I just kept saying, Jeffrey, why? I told you to hold on. I was going to kick him. I was going to take him. But go ahead, something else to store for my baby. That is something that's going to always stay with me. Pray to the day I die. Hear my baby cry out to me because that was a different cry. At present, it appears to be an accidental event with no clear evidence of foul play or suicide. We know a lot about what works for white youth in terms of preventing suicide, and we just don't have that same evidence base or literature around black youth suicide. We've gone from feeling like uh, suicide really wasn't an issue for black and brown communities to now realizing that black and brown kids and particularly uh, young black males are dying at rates uh, double that of our white peers. I grew up hearing that if you're experiencing anxiety and depression, 
you know, you just need to pray harder. I didn't have the right to feel anxiety. I didn't have the right to feel emotional pain. We saw uh, the deaths of George Floyd and Ahmaud Arbery and Breonna Taylor. And for black and brown kids that see this over time, uh, that starts to, to, to weigh on anyone. He's gonna have the rest of his life to deal with the Trayvon Martins and Tamir Rice's and all of that. But I want this little boy to be a little boy. <laughs> Come on, seven. With my son's death, for me, I have responsibility. And that's the scary part. No one's talking about bullying and suicide because it's so stigmatized. And, and then all of the people who speak to me, the, the survivor's parents, I, for some reason or another, they find me. Y'all got a slew of 800-888 numbers you can call. But you happen to find this 502 number and call me. I'm getting ready to talk to this little girl about being bullied and, and how to feel. And the first thing this little girl asked me, Miss Tammy, do you think Seven's in a better place? Do you think he's happy there? Do you think that I would be more happy where Seven is? I have to do this for them, not for my own child, but for that child and so many others that have called me. I say to them, no, this is exactly why Seven is there, so that you can pull on his strength and find the happiness from his strength to live through you.